Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. We talk a lot about luxury beauty here. We're gonna talk about Jones Road. We're gonna talk about the brand new eyeshadows from Jones Road. Now, I have all of them. I couldn't help myself, I did get them all. But we're gonna talk about all the matte shadows today and then in a later video, we're gonna talk about the shimmers because they're a little bit different, they're unique. And then in that video, we'll do different eye looks together and everything like that. But today we're doing eye swatches. I'm excited for you to see these and kind of see my reactions, first impression, well, sort of first impressions. I have been playing with them, but I wanna get started with that, so let's do it. Now, like I mentioned before, they're nine shadows from Bobby's new line, Jones Red. She had one out previous to this new collection that just launched. The one that I had uh, prior came in a set and this is the dark brown. Now there are four grams of shadow in this product, 12 month shelf, shelf life. It is made in the USA and it's called the best eyeshadow. Now I have used this and I loved it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. It's quite unique and different texturally than any shadow that I've really used before. It's a powder formula. The pigment is there, you guys. It's insane, yet it also blends out so seamlessly. It's gorgeous, y'all. I just kind of wanted to show you the one that she started with. And a lot of times she says that you can use this to kind of go in your brows and things like I did that. I tried it. It was a little deep for me. <laughs> and honestly, I probably was, I probably did it. If you go back to one of my original Jen's Rhodes videos, you'll probably look at it and you're probably like, Jen, your brows were super deep. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I know. I, I'm not a professional makeup artist, you guys. I just love beauty and I love sharing it with y'all. So um, yeah, I probably really messed those up. <laughs> but anyways, let's start with the lightest shade. Now the lightest shade is called Chic. Again, all of this has three grams of product in it. So not four. All right, so the original, the original one, like we were talking about, had four grams, and this one has three. Let me see if the others have three. Oh no, they're they're a little bit different. So all of them are a little bit different, guys. So, and I think that's just the weight in the formulation. Let's just talk about this here. So this is chic. This is a kind of like a creamy white shade, and it's I wouldn't say like super super white it's almost almost like a really really light cream if that makes sense so we're gonna put this all over the lid and see how it does I did get her brand new brush this is the eyeshadow brush the eye blending brush and this is made in Italy guys they are synthetic just an FYI so I am gonna try this on now you do get kick up with these mattes. That does not bother me guys at all. <laughs> if it bothers you, then this may not be the eyeshadow for you. But um, honestly, there's not much fallout or anything like that. So it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I don't know. It's just a little powdery. It's a powder eyeshadow y'all. I mean, this is this shadow lightly blended on the eye. We can build it up. I'm gonna use a different brush because this is more of a blending brush, you know, not like all over brush. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. So let's go and blend this on the eye. Wow, look at that pigment. A lot of these shades are more gray toned and have a really pretty, just, glamorous look about them. I've been trying these guys, so I, I have thoughts. Uh, they're not first, first impressions by all means. I did just get them, but I was playing with them like all yesterday because I could not wait. I was so excited. So this is Chic. Is this the lightest shade in the new line of eyeshadows by Jen's Road. So the next shade we're gonna to speak to is the cream or creme. 
This is so pretty. I love this type of shade all over the lid for me personally because I just love having a base to start with my shadows. This is three grains of product. Again, 12 month shelf life made in the USA. So all of them are 12 month shelf life in US. Um, they are different weights. So here we are here and this is cream. Let's swatch this. Look at that. Look at this guys. I mean, wow. So you can see the, this one is definitely more of a, like a cream. Definitely more of a cream than this one. This is more white based, I feel like. So when you look at them in the pan side by side, you can see this is the cream, this is the chic. So just to kind of give you some comparisons here. All right, let's go ahead and put this one on the lid. All over the lid. I just love having this, this shade. I just really like this shade. It just kind of starts you off on the right foot for eyeshadow. And honestly, you could wear this all over the lid and go. What do we think? Doesn't it just brighten the eye? Ugh, I love it. I actually really like these little mirrors and these little pots. They're just big enough to be able to see your eye. Yes. And then I wonder if I can build it up just a bit. I just, I'm just playing. So this is built up a little bit more, but this is cream. On the eyes, swatched. I like it. I am, I'm loving the formula. You guys, you guys. All right, this is the next shade. This is Ash. Now, Ash has a little bit of a gray taupey tone to it. So you can see here, this is Ash. Three grams of product here, a matte. So all the ones we've talked about so far are mattes. And here is, I mean, look at that, guys. Look at that swatch. I mean, it's like pigment is there. It's silky but not butter. It's like, <laughs> am I going to edit this out? <laughs> Can I get my thoughts together about this? It's silk. It's like finely woven silk, but powder. <laughs> All right. So that's that swatch. I mean, I'm just blending it a bit, but look, I mean, you guys, I, I am really excited about these shadows, you guys. I mean, I really am. I mean, I, I think they're a little different. They're a little different, guys. They're a little different. And look at the shade. Oh my goodness. Ah, look at this. But oh my goodness, you guys. I mean, that is so pretty. That's just really like this beautiful neutral eye. And I don't have mascara on right now because, you know, I'm, I'm taking this on and off or whatnot. But I, I will do some looks so that you can see what it looks like as a finished eye look. So you're going to get kick up, guys. I mean, if you don't like kick up, then, I mean, you're going to get it. You're going to, you know, you can pat, tap your brush or whatnot. But... There's really no fallout. It's very interesting. And it blends so seamlessly. It just looks like a beautiful shadow on the eye. Very pretty, seamless. I am a mom of two kids, a wife. This is great. Like a one and done shade out the door. When I was in the professional space, this would look great with a suit. I used to wear a lot of navy, so uh, like navy suits and everything because I felt like I just like navy a lot on me personally. And 
I feel like this would look just so classic. It's just classy, guys. And the formula's just the right, it's just the right amount with the shade. Ash, what do you think? Y'all are going to have to tell me which is your favorite down in the comments. So the next shade that we're going to look at is called Smoky Gray. Three grams of product, another matte. Let's see. There we go. It has a little bit almost of, I don't know if it's like, what color would be this undertone? I'm like, what? It's like a, yeah. Kind of like more of a deeper, yeah, it's definitely deeper. So pretty. This is more of like a brownie. Do you see how smooth they are? I mean, it's so, so exciting. <laughs> I mean, it's like effortless, right? I mean, for a person like me, I, I need, I'm, like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just your average person who loves a lot of makeup. <laughs> this has a little bit more purple. Yeah more of a little purple undertone, very slight, kind of gray, purple, pretty. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I like it. <laughs> what do you think? Now y'all, these are just eye swatches, so please just know that so that you can see what they look like on the eye, blended, and also um, just so that y'all can see what they look like built up maybe a little bit too and what the what it looks like. So like I said, um, these aren't like my eye look type thing because I am swatching them and take them off, putting them back on, take them off and all that. This is smoky gray. Now this one, I think I would wear more just in the crease for me personally. It's a pretty shade, but I feel like it is a little, it's a little deeper than what I would normally go for. That's what I would use it for. Now we're gonna continue with the mattes. This is the dark brown of the best eyeshadow. Now this is the four gram of product. Now I don't know if her new dark brown, I'll have to look it up. I'll look it up in just a second, but I don't know if her new dark brown has the, let's see if it is three. Let's see. She may have changed it. So I will find out that. And then if I don't know it before I <laughs> finish filming, I will put it in the description box below. Let's go ahead and swatch the dark brown. So we're going to swatch it here. Look at that. I know, I know. And then let's just swatch it. Now you see how it does here. It kind of like blends out as you swatch it. And that's kind of the cool thing about this shade is it blends so well, but it's like one of those ones you put in the crease and then you blend it out. So I'm gonna show you how I would wear it and how I feel like I like it best, but you can, I mean, you could totally wear this all over the eye if you want to, <laughs> but I personally like it in the crease. So I want to show you how I do that, if that's okay. So I'm taking a Scott Barnes 62 and I'm just going to pat that. And so I start here and you can deepen it and then you just blend out and guys, when I say it's just awesome, it's just awesome. Because look at the depth I'm getting in the crease. Yet, I mean, look at the blend. So I can still deepen that. It builds nicely as well, but it still blends so pretty out, right? I mean, that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's so cool. So I deepen the crease right here, a little bit more. I, I don't take a lot at first because I'm always nervous, you know, with deeper shades, I'm going to totally mess it up. And sometimes I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes I do. So I'll just play around with it and then keep blending out. 
so this is kind of smoked up and out like so and I would blend a little bit more but then this one is kind of smoked out and in a bit now if I wanted to I'm just gonna show you here just quickly just just real quick if I take the cream yeah this is the cream and just kind of show you how this looks with this and just blended all together you can see yes like you see that it's just it's so pretty okay and then this one here when you take the other shade to just blend I mean you I would use this with another shade or as um as an eyeliner quite frankly you could line your eyes with it and then I use that to just blend it in and out. Just so cool. Look at that, guys. Look how that just like transformed the look and the eye. Now, would I wear this like every day? No, but it is kind of cool how you can use them to like really like pop the eyes out. All right, let's go to the next one. The last matte that we're gonna talk about is called the best color in the world. Three grams of product, same 12 month shelf life. This is called the best color in the world. <laughs> now, this is like a matte, that's one, one swatch over it, but let's go again, just to kind of show you what this looks like. It's kind of like a really, really dark gray slash black. It's, let's see, I'm gonna go over that a little bit more. So if you keep building it, it almost has this really deep, 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 deep gray. I wouldn't say it's like, it is kind of black, but not super, super, super black, if that makes sense. So it is a bit different. Let's go in with this best color in the world. I think I'm gonna do it similar to how I did it for the other one, just for the fact that it's a super deep shade and honestly, it probably won't look great all over my eyelids. <laughs> so. Wow. What do we think? Yeah? I'm gonna just try to deepen it a little bit just to see what happens. For science, you know, I mean, just to see what we're working with. It is turning a bit black. It is more of a black, but it kind of has, what's, there's something in it, guys. I, I can't put my finger on it. It's almost like a bit of a, what's in this it's almost like a bit of a sheen or something do y'all see that am i the only one don't get me wrong it's black and it's matte but it shears out in a way that is so interesting what is that so this is a deeper kind of I built this one and then you see this one right here is just slightly put on here. I just put this on a little bit and blend it out. Hmm. And it's like this gorgeous gray, deep, deep gray shade with maybe a little silver undertone. Wow. This is super cool. I think what I'm going to do is start with the shade. Now this shade's the cream shade and I'm just going to put it all over the lid here just to kind of give my eye a base. And this is going to be just an everyday look. That's just what I'm doing. An everyday, out the door, 
throw on an eyeshadow or two and go. So this is what I'm doing now. So you can see it really brightens up my eyes and I feel like they look bigger and more like bright. I look awake. <laughs> and to use her brush again, I've been wiping it off on a microfiber towel and I'm going to go in with Ash. Now Ash is kind of more of a everyday neutral kind of a little brownie gray tone you know it has a little bit of brown undertone in it I feel like and I really like this one now I'm liking the brush okay what I'm I mean okay so the brush is more dense than what I'm used to so it's taking a little bit of getting used to I really like and use a brush that is more kind of um let me see let me try to find one like a fluffier brush like this whereas this one's more packed it's more dense and this one's more kind of a little more floppy so like if I go in like this I feel like I have a little bit more control and then I feel like this one is going to provide a little bit more of a packed pigment right here, but it blends well. It does blend well. It's just different than what I'm used to, used to using. That is very beautiful. I love that. I'm going to throw some mascara on. This is the Jones Road mascara. I'm going to throw on. This one was gifted. I have been through one already. They're, it's a really great mascara. So this is the mascara. It's a big brush. I love that. I'm just wiping off some of the excess. Sometimes there's a little bit of excess, which is okay. All right, so this is the cream and the ash together. And this is just your everyday natural eye. So what do you think? All right, next up we're going to probably add maybe a little bit of liner. So I'm going to use dark brown. I'm going to take a smaller kind of flat brush and I'm just going to go on the edges here of the brush and I'm going to kind of just tap it on the lash line to give it a little depth to this. And I threw it right there in the corner, just like underneath right here. And I'll do the same here. So this look is a, just the same look with the actual brown shade, the dark brown as a liner. How pretty is that, right? It really makes your eyes pop. These are the new eyeshadows and swatches and a few looks with the brand new Jones Road, the best eyeshadow. I really think they're great quite frankly. I think they're great, great. <laughs> and I just think she did a great job with these eyeshadows. And you know, I did like the dark brown when it first came. I love the dark brown when it first came out. I thought it was a really unique type formula, as well as one of those ones you could just like put in the corner of the eye and blend out and you're good to go. It's, it's, and use it as an eyeliner, quite frankly. That's what I would use it for. But I just think she did a great job. I really do. I'm very excited to see what else she's going to come out with. Who I'm speaking to, who I'm speaking about is Bobby Brown, the makeup artist Bobby Brown. She's, she created Jones Road and I think a lot of her products are super innovative. You know, they're not going to work for everyone by all means, but I think, you know, there is a person who would enjoy a lot of these products and I'm, I'm one of them quite frankly. And I really do. I really enjoy them. I think they're beautiful products. I haven't tried everything yet, but I mean, of what I have tried, I really have enjoyed so many of them. And I, um, I, I think she's doing a great job so far. So, anywho, uh, that is, this is the uh, first impressions and swatches of the Jones Road eyeshadows that just came out. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, my name's Jennifer. If you'd love to subscribe, I invite you to do so below. Thank you again. I'll leave my latest video right here, and I'll see you over there. Bye, y'all.